Stu Chu, who's a young, aspiring CSGO writer and who's written lots of really sick articles. I'll put his Twitter actually in the description box below. He's written a number of articles about CSGO. He comes from StarCraft 2. Came up with a funny idea, a, a, quite a witty concept on Twitter, which I actually think beyond just being a funny joke and an interesting idea, is something that actually would be fun to be implemented and could produce a very entertaining event. So his concept was that now that I work with ESL, because I'm going to be doing ESL 1 Cologne, the major, after obviously not working with ESL, I mean, actually ever in CSGO, but in theory, I would have obviously worked with them at yes, EMS 1 Canavice in March of 2014, but for obvious reasons, I didn't. And so his suggestion was, now that I work with ESL, if they were to have another ESL Barcelona-type tournament, or IEM Gamescom, if you remember that, in 2015, these were tournaments where, essentially, the team's... It was like people, I can't remember if it was like people voted or people, no, it, was, it just went like by by the team that won the game, then like set up the next game or something. I'm, it was something along those lines. And the point was, because the teams and, and in the past event fans were somehow deciding the map and which teams played which teams, the concept sounds really fun, right? Because then people are going to do alliances and then they're going to try and set up this team that's very good to get knocked out early if they can. The big problem was though, the event kind of fell flat on its face. So I'll get to that in a second. But basically, his suggestion was they could have one of these events, but instead of the, the mechanism of picking people being fan voting or the players themselves picking, the representatives of the teams, the captains, instead, they could essentially make me the dictator. And the idea is I would just pick the matches that happened. And then obviously the notion is I would pick like very funny matches or interesting ones or head-to-head -head ones that would be really cool. Now, the reason why this would be interesting is because the actual concept of the event would be great because it's supposed to be a fun event. The old concept I'm talking about where the teams pick or the fans get to pick them up, that could be great and could lead to some amazing t matches. Unfortunately, whether it's just because of pro players being so competitive or them just being in the mindset that they want to win the money, unfortunately, I've noticed the events always felt a little bit underwhelming. Like, it wasn't the fault of ESL, but the actual mechanism of selecting the teams and the maps never quite worked in as much as what happened was the people who got the choice to pick all just tried to win first place, essentially, or get as high as they could in the tournament and win as much money as they could. And so to do so, they just did stuff like set up key opponents that they wanted knocked out on the map that that opponent's not so good on against an opponent that they think could beat them. And so, for example, famously, in both of the events that were run, we had two teams finish higher than they normally would have done and two teams that were better finish lower. So we had Mouse Sports finish below Renegades at IEM Gamescom due to this sort of picking where people just kept picking Mouse Sports against, like, Envious so that they lost to them, whereas Mouse Sports was a better team than Renegades. Likewise, at the next one, ESL Barcelona, we had, I think it was Dignitas... I think it was Dignitas and G2 maybe, finish ahead of Envious because Envious were repeatedly picked against people that could beat them like Fnatic, as well, Astralis. And so the problem is it didn't end up being the super cool event where you got to see teams play each other on their best map, like where they're both really sick on that map and amazing games. Like that. You didn't get to see that that often, actually. It just turned into sort of like a weird reality vote, vote people off the island sort of thing where it was people playing maps they didn't like or opponents that were like... Two really good teams playing super early and then like like I say, a, a not as great team making it way deeper than they would have just because of this kind of gamesmanship. And that was like fun in a sense, like there was the alliances things. So that was okay, but the actual games weren't as cool as they could have been. Whereas the whole point of this exhibition tournament for me is that we want to have some awesome games. So the reason why this would be fun is we would combine the alliance aspect and all that, but with really awesome games. Because in a scenario where I'm the dictator, here's what I would do. Instead of the section where they discuss with each other what they're going to do and they talk about, oh, if we've got an alliance or what we're going to do next, instead of that section, I would have a section where essentially, you know, I'm the dictator sat on my Lord Analyst throne and the two te and the teams all come before me. And what I would have is that, first of all, before every match, there would be like a five minute segment where the players give me their advice on what they think I should do. Like, oh, yeah, oh, Thorin, yeah, I think you should set up these two teams because it'd be a really great matchup. And, you know, I've always wanted to see them on cash. I'd be like, mm, okay. I'd be like, Solomon, you know, deciding, discerning which ones I think. Or someone could do some trash talk, like, hey, you know what? Actually, like, Dignitas could be like, hey, set us up against Astralis and put it on Cobblestone and we'll fuck them up. You know, we'll like, we'll get revenge for them taking Kirby and we're better than them on that and we'll, we'll really wreck them, you know. You know, we could have some awesome snacks. So they're giving me good ideas. And other than that, I'm taking the, the ideas in account, into account anyway. And so I'm going to come up with cool ideas as it is. So, for example, the number one thing I would do at these tournaments, by the way, is I would just make great matches. Like, for example, if Na'Vi and Luminosity are there, I mean, they're SK Gaming in, in a few weeks, but if Na'Vi and SK Gaming are there, 
well, okay, I'm going to have Navi and SK Gaming play on Overpass or play on Train, aren't I? Because it's going to be an awesome map. We're going to get to see these two world-class teams play on that map and go and battle it out because they still want to stay in the tournament, but now they have to play a map they're both awesome on. What a great match that's going to be, right? I'm going to go ahead and put the likes sometimes in the scenario, maybe in the trash talk segment. Maybe I can do matchups where I do purposely fuck with the other team, but not in a way just to eliminate them, just because I think this will be a sick challenge. So, for example, you take Envious, guys who used to think they were the kings, and you put them against Na'Vi on Overpass, a map they don't like, and it's Na'Vi who's fantastic on that map, and it's Na'Vi who beats them anyway, and then there's the whole rivalry thing, or maybe we beef it up. Like, maybe in this scenario, you don't just win money on the placing at the end. We put set money on set matches. So on that one, maybe Envy can win more if they win that crazy hard matchup than you win for just playing a team on a map that you're good on, you know? Maybe we could do an interesting factor like that. So this would be a cool way, I think, to set matches up and do it in this particular way. Also, it'd be just funny for the banter of the players, like, beseeching me or trying to fuck with me and trying to dare me or challenge me. And so maybe I set them up with a super hard run of things. Maybe someone like Fnatic wins all that money and then they look even more baller, you know. Now, obviously, in this world, I'm kind of playing like a Vince McMahon from WWE role, right? I'm like the boss, but some people I have a contentious relationship with. Some people are like... like, like pay fealty, you know, and I set them up with the, with the, the better matches or whatever. So the reason why I bring this up as an idea, it's probably never going to happen, let's be real. We're just exploring a fun idea here. It's because I actually do think in esports, a way to increase the entertainment is to take some cues from the WWE. So obviously the majority of tournaments, like fucking majors and huge DreamHack masters, we obviously don't want those teams to, tournaments to be rigged or in any way influenced by personal biases what we want in those tournaments is the best seeding possible we want the best teams to have a really good format that then their play can decide how good they are how far they get and what their final placing is that's what we want competitive integrity for those tournaments but not every tournament has to be like that so i'd like it if there was a circuit like that and then there were the odd events where you actually had this fun component in because I'm not joking, it would make for some awesome events. Like imagine an event where it looks like a normal event, like a dream hack, but the only input that we have to make it more fun is when it comes to the playoff bracket, you have a commissioner, so maybe someone like me again in this scenario, and they essentially rig the bracket, the brackets. So either they rig them, like I could rig it so that it's the best bracket, like the most fair bracket to me, I'll rank the teams one to eight in a seeding, and then I put one versus eight and two versus seven, or maybe we rig the bracket in terms of we decide what we think the most entertaining matchups would be. So yeah, we do have Na'Vi play Luminosity in a match in the in the bracket because we want to see those teams play a best of three. And we have G2 play Envious for some super sick hype and oh God, this is going to be so amazing. Maybe we rig the bracket like that so we have the best possible entertainment factor in this particular one, which again is not trying to be the most competitively, the competitive integrity type tournament. That's going to be other tournaments. Also, the reason I know some of this stuff could be fun is I remember in StarCraft Brood War, in the MSL, the second big league, the main league for 1v1 in Korean Brood War was the OSL, the On-Game Net Star League. But the MSL, which was like the M NBC game StarCraft League or something it was called, was the second big league. And what they did to differentiate themselves is they had a component where once you got to the group stage, actually the seeding of where you were in the last MSL decided like your seeding overall your placing rather deciding your seeding and then based on seeding you went at the bottom seed up and they got to decide where they went so they could put themselves in a group or someone higher up could do stuff like move someone from one group to another and so because of this approach people would talk as this was happening and be interviewed and people would make comments and essentially what they were doing was a similar scenario to this like they would say oh i'm going to move myself next to you because you beat me last season and i'm going to get revenge on you and show you i'm better than you or as someone gets put into a super hard group, they might say to a teammate of theirs that had a higher seeding, oh, move me to another group, uh, like, you know, young, which means like older brother, like, oh, I'll move me to another group. Like, I don't deserve to be in this one. And he might go, okay, I'll use my, my pick to move you over there. And so actually it provided this really awesome scenario with trash talk and Pete, and you're getting a sense of the hu sense of humor of the people and what they actually think of each other and who wants to play who and who wants to avoid who and who, who they actually are the most scared of. It added an extra component that made it really fun, actually. Now in their scenario, that actually was one of the main leagues. That was supposed to be one of the big titles that counts towards your career. I would just take care of the part where someone could complain that that's not that fair, which it isn't in a way and I would maybe just put it into some fun exhibition tournaments and we do it that way. So I thought it was a cool idea from Stuchu and I actually think as a one-off thing it would be pretty interesting and we could make the entertainment factor the main thing and we'd also have some amazing games. That's the thing. We'd have some super sick games that showed the gamut of possible play and pro play the spectrum as it were and then we'd have some more cool entertainment on top of it.